I'm here today with another crap products video. These are probably some of my most viewed videos because it seems like you guys want to know what products suck and what not to buy. So I've accumulated a bunch of products here that just did not work for me, did not like them. I'm gonna go through each one, explain to you why I didn't like it. Uh, if it's a product that you love, by all means, keep using it. We all have different expectations, skin type, um, and our skin reacts differently to different products and we also have different expectations of what we want a product to do, um, how we like products to sit on our skin, and obviously our skin is different so they react and look differently depending on um, skin texture, skin type, whether you have dry or oily skin. So if you love these products, by all means, keep using them. These just didn't work for me, so please don't be offended if this is like a holy grail product for you. They just didn't work for me. So I have a bunch here, but before I show you, if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy my channel. Decide to stay a while by hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're doing that, why not just add one more thing, and that's clicking that notification bell. That way you're notified of any new videos that come out because I post three a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right, now let's get into the crappy products. The first one is this model's own foundation. Now I did use this in like a testing new products, first impressions video. This is the Runway Matte Foundation. I actually ended up wiping it off and putting a different foundation on for the rest of the video because it looked so heavy, so thick and cakey on my skin. I don't mind a full coverage foundation. I tend to kind of use more medium coverage. This just felt really heavy and thick on my skin. I could see it on top of my skin, like it didn't melt in nicely and look seamless. It just was not good. It claims to be weightless matte liquid foundation that will take you take you seamlessly from AM to PM. This just was too thick, too cakey, looked gross on my skin, and I definitely did not like it. So I would pass on that one. There's much better matte foundations at the drugstore. If you're looking for a good matte one, the Infallible Pro Matte is amazing. That is a drugstore matte foundation that works so good. Definitely would recommend that a thousand times over that one. All right, the next one is this Derma Blend foundation. I was really wanting to try a full coverage foundation, um, and I've tried plenty that look beautiful on the skin. This one, however, did not. This is the Blurring Mousse Camo, which is oil-free medium coverage foundation, so it's not even supposed to be a full coverage foundation. It does come in like a little tube like this. The other Derma Blend foundation is the one that can like cover tattoos and scarring, all kinds of crazy stuff. But this one just, it was pretty full coverage. Like I would say it was more full coverage than it was medium coverage, but it just looked thick and cakey and heavy and gross on my skin. It accentuated every texture on my skin. It accentuated pores. It settled into fine lines. I never felt like it really melted in with my skin nicely to where I could touch my face and it felt like skin. I just always felt like there was a crap ton of product on. You don't need very much. It does go a really long way, uh, but it just felt and looked gross and it was like $40. So definitely would not recommend this one unless, I don't know. I don't know when I'd recommend it. I think there's other full coverage foundations that work a lot better than this one. Another foundation. This is from Pure. It's the Bare It All Foundation. This high performance 12 hour demi matte foundation helps to cover imperfection and instantly perfect the skin while helping to correct problem areas. This, first of all, when I first tried it the first time, I thought Bare It All, oh, it's gonna be like a really light coverage foundation, like just kind of like a light coverage, maybe medium. This is definitely more, this is definitely more of a medium to full coverage foundation. And if you get oily or you sweat or your face gets like remotely damp, it breaks up like a mofo. <laughs> I wore this to the lake one day. I don't even know why I decided to wear this to the lake. I think it's because I was like, oh, bare it all. It's going to be light coverage. I put it on. I was like, dang, definitely not light coverage. This is definitely more medium to full coverage. But I went with it anyways because sometimes I do wear makeup to the lake. And I literally got like the smallest little splash of makeup on my face and it immediately just started separating. It was like, it was the craziest thing. It, I got a splash on my chin and the makeup started pulling from that spot and just started like separating out. It was like the seas were parted on my chin. It was disgusting looking. It looked so bad. So I would not recommend this if you are oily, if you get sweaty, if you live in hot climates. I don't really know who would wear this. I just, it didn't look awesome on my skin, but I'm like, eh, it's a leg, who cares? It just, 
got worse looking. So definitely wouldn't recommend this one. Again, a lot better foundations out there that are a lot less expensive. I have a ton of eyeliners. You know, I'm always on the hunt for the perfect black liner. I think I found it with the um, Curvitude from Maybelline. That's probably my favorite right now. But in the meantime, before I found that, I tried a bunch of other ones. Uh, one of them being the Rimmel 24 Hour Precise. This isn't a bad liner, it's just not very black. It's, um, ends up, can you see that? It's like a smoky gray almost. This is in the shade black. It isn't very rich, it's not very pigmented. Um, so, I don't know, if I'm gonna bother with doing liner, especially black liner, I want it to be matte black, very rich in pigment. This just wasn't it. I do like the felt tip on it, it's really nice, it's flexible but the color is just not black enough for me. So this one I'd pass on. Definitely recommend the Maybelline Curvitude or even the Wet n Wild Pro Line. That's a very inexpensive one that's great as well. Another one is the Essence one. I know a lot of people really love the Essence liners. This one's their waterproof one. And I kind of find the same thing to be true. While this one is a little bit more black, um, it does not dry down matte for me. It ends up having kind of that vinyl, um, look to it where it has like a little bit of a shine. This one is the Smashbox Photo Angle Pure Pigment Gel Liner. I tried the one from Benefit a long time ago, didn't like it. I don't know why I picked this one up thinking it was going to be any different. Basically it's a gel liner that comes up into like a little tip so you should be able to just do like a super easy winged liner with it. The truth is, is it's really hard to work with. First of all, this is way too flexible, so it's really flimsy when you try to do a any kind of line. But also, like the pigment that's in here is too thick. The gel is too thick. So when you try and stiff and also crumbles up like that. Look at like look how sloppy those lines look. Like I'm trying to do a really nice line and it just does nothing. Like it's crappy. <laughs> so I do not like these styles. Like I think the concept is very cool. To try to squeeze the product out, you're getting a big glob. So you're not able to really like put it nicely. Whereas if you have a gel liner with a brush, you kind of wipe it off. You coat your brush, wipe it off, and then you go ahead and do your line. This you're actually getting like a blob of product that you're trying to smooth out with this like super flimsy rubber tip. It just, it doesn't work. Um, I don't like these. I don't know why I bought it is my fault but this concept is cool but the execution just like did not work. <laughs> like I have so many liners here. All right this is an elf liner in jet black. I did declutter like a ton of liners that's probably why there's so many in here. Um, this one is a like little brush tip liner and I think I tried this in a I want to say I did try this in a testing new products video. I just don't like this liner. I feel like this is so flimsy. It's really hard to work with. It's really hard to get like a nice, thin, fine line, uh, like a straight, fine line if you were trying to do like a winged liner. Um, also, if this gets on your lashes, it will clump your lashes. So if you're trying to do liner on your upper lash line and you get it on the base of your lashes or anywhere on your lashes, your lashes will clump together and then it's really hard to get mascara on. Most liners don't do that. They don't kind of clump up and make my lashes crispy. This one does, so I didn't like it. Again, there's a lot, like I said before, at the drugstore that are really good. This is from Master Duo Maybelline and it comes in this like little pot thing here and it has like a ball at the end. So I don't know, you definitely can't really do wing liner with this because it's not a fine tip, it's like an actual like ball. And I just don't, I don't like it, it's too thick of a line. You, There's no way to get like a really nice thin flick. It's a rounded tip, so it's like how do you get like a nice sharp line with a rounded tip at the bottom? I don't understand it. It also doesn't dry matte black, so that was another reason. But I feel like they try to come out with these really cool concepts and these new innovative products, but it just, like, I don't understand. All right, moving on. So the next is this Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. It's a sugar lip treatment perfecting wand. I started using this in the morning. When I'd sit down here to get ready, I'd kind of put this on my lips. It has one of those, like, little scrubber things. This smells so bad. Like, you know if you leave, like, a damp towel in a bag or, like, if you were ever like on swim team or something and you left your wet clothes in your locker, everything smells super mildewy. That's what this wand smells like. It has like the lemon scent of the normal sugar products, but then it has a very strong mildew scent. Like it's really bad. 
and I've only had this for like a month. So like two weeks in, I noticed that I was like, I went to go put it on. I'm like, it literally smells like laundry that's been sitting in the washer for too long. And so I like started smelling myself. I'm like, it's not my shirt. And I smelled this. Sure enough, this is what it was. And that smell actually was on my lips. Really gross. So passing on this, I, I don't know. I'm not even finishing using it because it stinks like mildew. Right, the next is this Maybelline Brow Precise Illuminator Perfection perfecting highlighter. This is meant to go under your brows to kind of give you a brow lift. I do not like the formula of this. The color's not bad. It's a really light kind of yellowy color. I usually prefer more of a pinky tone like the high brow or Sephora makes one as well. Um, but it wasn't the color that got me. It is the consistency. It's so waxy and greasy feeling. So when you go to put it under your brow and then blend it out, like it leaves like a waxy film under your brows, which is really weird because I've used a ton of I've used a ton of products like this to kind of highlight or push up the brow by just highlighting right underneath. This one just is super waxy feeling and very greasy feeling. Um, so if you're wanting a product like this, I would recommend the Benefit Highbrow. Sephora has one. A lot of other brands have like the crayon that goes underneath your brow bone. I'll pass on this one unless you like like a greasy brow bone. All right, the next is these Melted Latex. I did a whole video swatching these. And I felt like when I was putting them on, like some of them obviously looked really bad and some of them I was like, oh, it's actually not that bad. But when I went to edit that video, I was like, you know what? They're almost too glossy to where your lips just kind of look really weird. They don't have a scent to them, which I don't think they did before. They're very like just going like this. I can feel it picking up all like sticking to all my little like ha hairs on my hand. Like it's very sticky. Um, and it's almost too glossy to where it like does not look flattering on the lips. Um, so I just don't see myself ever wearing these. I wanted to really like them. And when I was doing the video, I was like, oh yeah, these are kind of cool. And I liked the concept of them. I wore them a few times after that. And I just did not like the way that my lips look just like out in everyday life. You know, I only had those on for a few seconds, uh, during the lip swatches. So for me, I just don't think I'll ever wear them. They're like too glossy and they almost are like too glossy to where they look bad and your lips just look really weird. Uh, so definitely, you know, I really love Too Faced, so it makes me sad to say this, but I would pass on these. Last thing is this mascara from CoverGirl. It's the Total Tease Mascara. I also used this in a First Impressions. I hate this mascara. It did absolutely nothing for my lashes. The wand is like a spiky one on the side, and then you have like a torture ball blob on the other side. It literally did nothing for my lashes, did not like it, would pass on it. I would go for the L'Oreal Lash Paradise or the um, Maybelline Big Shot if you're looking for a good drugstore mascara. This one is not it. All right, guys, so that is it for my crap products. I hope you enjoyed. What are some products that you've used lately that are total garbage, total crap? total fail. Let me know down in the comments below. That way all of us can hear what didn't work for you, why it didn't work, and maybe we can save some money. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!